Good afternoon. Welcome to our motor to France. Uh, I have, because Sam's gone off to cut someone's grass, uh, been attempting to strip the windows with a paint stripper and the doors. But it's not coming off easy at all. This is about the full coat of paint stripper now. Um, normally it should bubble and come away, but it's not uh some places it is. Uh, but other places it's not it's not coming off easy. Um I've even tried using a wire brush on the drill. Yeah, I've got to go and pick Charlie up shortly. Uh, he's at um, high school. Um, the other two have been unwell. George has had a cold, which is given to Henry. Well, George has given it to everybody, but George is now what appears to have a chest infection. So um, we may have to make him a doctor's appointment. So we're getting there, as I say, tomorrow. Uh, I get the plumbing fixtures that I need so I can plumb this one in and once this one's up and running that reminds me I've got to go in this one and undo I'll do that tomorrow I haven't got long but there shortly um, yeah once this one's working and plumbed in um, I can then it's quite straightforward so we just run the pipes uh, over to this caravan go inside this caravan and fix any pipes that are burst um, support the grey pipe underneath the other side I've still got plumbing uh, I think it might be might be the kitchen actually. I've plumbed in one side of it, which I think is the shower toilet. Um, but I haven't plumbed in because there's two coming out of this one. There was only one coming out of the other one. So I've got to plumb in the other one and um, take that into one pipe and then uh, connect it to that there. So we can then go into the tank. So yeah, it's looking better here. As you can see, your back's feeling better now. So I'll move some of these blocks over the next few days. So I can put them where the uh, doors are. So obviously you haven't got such a large drop when you come out. This in front of the caravans I'm going to gravel. But I'm not going to do that until I finish paint stripping this because it should cover up most of the debris that's on the floor. Sam's going to some, uh, <laughs> it's, I can't, community, community club that we joined. Uh, Sam's going to be the youngest by far there. Um, she's going there to learn French, I believe. And then she has a soiree to go to tomorrow with the same group. Which I'm not going to because obviously I've been doing this. I'm sure I will be roped into going to it at some stage. Um, but I'll try to not get roped into it for a very long time. Because I think the youngest person there is 75, I think. Something like that. So, I, uh, it's not something I particularly want to go and do. So I don't think it's something I would enjoy. Had uh, Patrick the farmer over today with someone to take a look at the roof, um, which seemed quite positive actually. He um, said, Oh, it's just a couple of dropped slates, and the top of the roof needs um, repairing or replacing. Well, I've already got the replacement for it anyway. He owns two cherry pickers, so he's going to give me a quote and tell me when he can do it. We had tree person over on Tuesday, 
Um, he reckons it's going to take him three weeks to cut these trees down. I've got to shut the road down for three weeks to cut these trees down. So, uh, I'd hate to think how much that's going to come to. But we're not going to be paying for that anyway. As soon as I get the quote, that'll be going to the solicitors. And I will be telling the solicitors that he's to pay for it, because I'm not. He knew it was dangerous before we bought the property. Apparently he's already had a quote from the same people that have come to quote us um, ages ago regarding taking these trees down, but never did it. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to pay for that. I also got him to check this tree here. I don't know if you can see it. Not properly anyway. Uh, because that's dead and the caravan's here. And if that comes down on the caravan, um, whoever's inside it possibly won't be with us anymore. So he's going to quote for that and then I'll have to go around and speak to the neighbour and tell him he needs to chop it down because even if this caravan wasn't here, if that came down over there, that's where there are two sheds and that's going to they're going to be full of uh, gardening equipment and um, you know bits and pieces like that, the quad, the buggy, so things of value. Also, this is far more important because this is someone's life, but as I say, if it wasn't there, then if it came down on that, it would end up writing off all the uh, the equipment in there, so he's going to have to have that tree cut down, but the tree surgeon said that's simple because he can just drop it, drop it, um, and that's it. Uh, you know, it's not going to cost a lot of money to do it, and they'll do it while they're doing the um, front one. So, um, yeah, that's the update for today. As I say, tomorrow I'm plumbing. Hopefully, this will be that caravan will be up and running. Um, then I'm going to bring the kettle over, bring the fridge over, and I can make myself cups of tea and coffee and be civilised over here rather than having to pee in a bush. So, well, I could, in theory, go and get some water from... Well, I can't even switch the water on now, because it's all connected up to this, and it'll just shoot out everywhere, so... But I could bring some bottled water over here and then use the toilet and pour the water down it. But uh, it's far easier just to pee in a bush. Right, anyway. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll do a bit of filming tomorrow with me plumbing. Um, not sure if that interests anybody at all, but it's documenting what we're doing. We can then look back on it and laugh many years in the future. So take care, have a good evening, bye bye.